So should I shield the guitar? Should I use shielding paint? Or should I use copper foil? Is it even necessary to shield the guitar? You can hear the noise right here. And now I'm going to turn on this lamp. So maybe I should try to shield the guitar after all. I've already done the back side of the pickguard. I have no idea if the adhesive on the back of this copper foil is conductive, but let's check that out. First of all, I should have used this one, but I don't have the battery that goes in there, but I found another way. Definitely continuity. Let's paint. I bought this paint from uh, the UK, a company called Bear Conductive Electric Paint. Let's try to check it out. It's very thick and uh, it's a little bit of a mess. So it's time to dry. So a few days have passed, actually four days, and I've been waiting for the paint to dry. And it says here on the package, it has to be completely dry to work. And I think it's dry now. So let's check out if there's continuity. As you can see, it is dry and there's droplets. And that's because my workshop here is an old tool shed and somehow it's dripping through the roof. Not an ideal environment for making instruments. As you can see, I have the multimeter up and running. Oh well, that's open loop. So if I'm closing the loop, there's a sound. And you can see right here, the numbers are going down to zero. There's zero resistance for the current to flow. How about the paint? No. But check out the numbers. There is some continuity. If I uh, touch this plastic right here, nothing happens. If I'm touching the paint, something happens. There's a current flowing, but there's a resistance also. If I'm touching over here, right here, the paint, and over here, still there's uh, some current flowing, but there's a big resistance. And it's not nearly zero. I've decided to put copper tape inside these cavities. I don't trust the paint. But before I do that, let's check out if the paint does reduce the noise in any way. I put on the pick guard again and let's test it out. I 
I have to say it's not nearly as bad as before the paint got in. Maybe the paint works after all. The paint works. Really? Okay, that's a test. Let's put copper in there. So it is crazy cold out here in the workshop right now, as you can see. But I just have to get this copper foil inside the guitar and get home and have a nice warm cup of coffee. Copper foil is in, it's done. It looks like uh, one of the ideas from Apollo 13 that didn't work. So let's see if there's continuity. Okay, something is happening. Look at the... It's close to zero, so that's okay. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, come on. Let's hear a sound. Yeah. Okay. Not so much. Let's hear it from here to here. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a problem right here, I guess. So I just put another piece in there. Let's see. From here to here. So, that's continuity. So let's put it all together now and check out the noise. So, that's it. All the screws are in now. Let's check out the noise level. A lot of volume right here in here and um, now let's turn on the lamp the test lamp that made a lot of noise before shielding not that bad so the conclusion shielding definitely does something and it's a good idea to do but uh, should I use paint or foil? Well, this little experiment showed me that actually the paint does the job. The problem is waiting for this to dry. That's a total deal breaker for me. I think I'm going with copper foil the next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button, the little bell icon and the like button and I'll see you in the next video.